An object moving in a line has a speed and direction of travel, together known as a linear velocity. In the absence of an external force, it maintains its velocity forever, like this penguin sliding on frictionless ice. On the other hand, if we spin our penguin, it has no linear velocity, but it is still moving. This motion can be described by an angular velocity. Similar to linear velocity, it has a direction and a magnitude. The direction is along the axis of the spin. The magnitude is how fast it spins. When the penguin slides over the edge of the ice, it is no longer supported and succumbs to gravitational force. The penguin falls into the water. If we spin the penguin on top of this pole, the penguin experiences the same gravitational force, but he does not fall. Notice he is also spinning around the pole. If we spin the penguin the other way, its spin around the pole also reverses. Say the sliding penguin were to grab onto a rope tied to the pole. He will be pulled into a circular path. Let's freeze him for a moment. His velocity points this way, but the rope pulls him in a perpendicular direction. The net result is that his velocity changes direction. As the penguin moves, the rope always pulls him in the perpendicular direction. The penguin slides in a circle. Let's go back to our penguin on the pole. The situation is very similar. Instead of a rope pulling him inwards, gravity pulls him downwards. Gravity acts on his center of mass, located at his belly. There is an upward force from the pole on his beak. The forces are acting on different parts of the penguin, so there is an overall twist. Just as the linear pull of the rope has a force associated with it, this angular twist is described by something called torque. The direction of torque is along the axis of the twist. This is similar to the direction of the angular velocity being along the axis of spin. The axis of torque is in this direction. Just as the force of the rope changes the direction of the linear velocity, the torque changes the direction of the angular velocity. Therefore, the penguin spins on a slightly different axis. As he turns, the direction of the torque turns with him. The penguin rotates on top of the pole.